Hello there, all Brooks here, and in today's video, I am bringing you my custom design for a vending machine. So, it's a small build, about the same height as the Lego minifigure. It's just slightly taller though. And inside, it's got room for your different treats with two shelves. It's got a control panel down here. Um, designs, those can be changed out, the designs on the side. And then there's one illegal building technique uh, which puts pressure on this 2x4 tile at the back. The, there is an option to build it without, but it means that you don't have the bottom shelf. And I would rather have the bottom shelf, so I've gone with that. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the building process now. Here are the parts that you will need to build the vending machine. There isn't too many, but the brick size could be classed as. But for the build you will need six of these brackets, preferably in light bluish grey. Now you've got a 2x4 tile. Two 2x2 two two plates, I've got one in light grey one in dark blue. and then you've got your treats you've got a chocolate bar a couple of biscuits and this swell could be a sweet or something and then you've got four two by two tiles I've got two in light bush grey two in blue blue because it's the colour I have the most of there's also this one by two plate modified with a bar you have this bracket that can attach to a minifigure's neck. I've got the control panel, this is the one that I'm using. Uh, let's try and get the... Okay, that's the one I'm using. Uh, I've got two blue one by one tiles, again, the colour I had. And then I've got four of these. These pieces here, these six, the two one by one tiles, and these, they're just for decoration, they're not necessary for the build. Okay, let's get into the build. So the first step, we'll need a bracket and a 2x2 tile. And then chuck another bracket on the bottom like that. And then you do that twice, I'll do this quickly. So now we've got these. Next, get one of the blue tiles and chuck it on the bottom so that you end up with this shape. Now on the top you have another bracket going down the back and then the modified bar like that and then on top then goes the other blue 2x2 two two tile. Okay, so now I'm going to put on the decoration bits. So I have one by one tile going here in blue, so at the back, and then the dark grey, one of these goes at the back with the light grey one in front. These bits, as I said, are not necessary, they're just how I've decided to decorate mine with the pieces I had. So now you're going to have this. Next step, put these two pieces together, the 2x2 two two tile uh, plate and a 2x4 tile, they go on the back like this. Now you're going to make your shelves. You've got one 2x2 two two tile, I'm putting a chocolate bar and a biscuit on there. Again, I said tile, that's a plate. <laughs> then you get the bracket and that's got a biscuit and that's swell. And then the last assembly you need to make is the controls. So you get the one by bracket and this tile. Okay, so the first thing you put in place is the shelf made with a bracket. And then you put the 2x2 two two plate in, and then you use this, uh, use this, to push it backwards. And it can be fiddly sometimes, but you push it backwards, and that is what pushes that out. But it also gives you your second shelf. So here is the finished model. 
as I said at the beginning, there is a way to make it without the illegal building technique, and that is simply by removing the bottom shelf. Because as you can see, no stress on this bed. But as I said, there's no bottom shelf, which I would rather have. So let's put that back and give it a spin. a minifigure again. Okay. Um, thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like. And if you want to see more of my content, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.